हॉट एंड सेकी ब्रेसा द सिटी बेड एसयूवी एब्सोल्युट मैडनेस इन मोलापुर वी कम टू एक्सपेक्ट इट फ्रॉम द पंजाब किंग्स अनफॉर्चूनेटली दे फॉल a desperate nine runs short against the mumbai indians in what was their seventh game that's the sixth that's gone to the final over they are the masters of the thrillers are the punjab kings they find ways to make games exciting from being 14 for 4 with a win probability of less than 4% to actually having the game in complete control with a probability of around 80% once they had the 24 run over after the brilliance of ashutosh sharma and shashank singh and yet somehow somehow mumbai indians managed to take enough wickets to bowl them out in time we look back at a game with plenty of incident and lots of talking points on maruti suzuki arena presents espn cricket for time out in the company of mitchell mcclanagan wasim jafar and ian bishop take a moment gentlemen and then ask yourselves what was the telling difference today in the result because there was so much that happened but what stands out as the difference between who's ended up on the winning side here and who's ended up on the losing side well i think uh, the wicket of shashank singh uh, i think hmm. that was uh, you know he should have been smart knowing that bumra has just come out to take the wicket uh, had they taken 6 or 7 or even 5 for that matter in that over and not lost a wicket there i think they were ahead in the game uh, and then in the end ashutosh getting out uh, first ball of kudzia I think that sealed the game, uh, probably for Mumbai Indians. So I think those two moments uh, stands out for me. Bish. Yeah, I want to concur on that, and maybe we can dive into it a little bit deeper. So I wouldn't go too much into that because I 100% agree that Jashank should have recognized we could see over number 13 out, and then build towards the back end. Um, the sort of six or one half doesn't have the other of Bumrah getting wickets up front. and reducing them to what 6 for 77 with the help of Kutsia and all of that was another critical point yeah, maybe he, not more critical than Shashank but he was point. used early and yeah. he and Kutsia had a huge impact so that's one way but then there might be those things i wish bumrah had two at the end that mitch from what you saw of a team that you know quite well yeah we had this discussion just now didn't we bush and and i think your point's right when you've got someone who doesn't have the players around them um if you use his overs too early um you can find yourself in that position at the end in terms of bumrah whereas throughout the innings i saw a, i saw an opportunity to to really put the foot on the throat when they were four down you've got ashutosh there got sushank um there as well i thought there was an opportunity to roll the dice and and use one more over of bumrah and use one more over of kutsia uh at the very least you're going to drive that run rate up even further um so it's going to increase even more um and hopefully you're going to get one of those guys out because i think at that point and watching the previous games from the punjab kings we've got to put a lot of respect on how those two players have played up until this point um and you've also got, you've got so when you put respect on someone's name you've also got to say well they're a key wicket and i need to get them out because they've been so so great for punjab kings and getting them into these positions so i would have probably pulled the trigger later rolled the dice and then saved one of bumrahs and kusias for the end but you know there's always a couple of ways to skin the cat okay. can can i just sort of and there's no this is quick info right we we can have a different viewpoints in which we come to that that oh, thing oh of right? course i think that should be so, and i and i like that aggressive route the challenge to and and in saying that this is the problem was him i think that captain's face with a guy like bumrah if you don't have the support mm. now you pull that trigger up there and you're quite right that it could have worked but at that point if 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 shashank and shama were smart and they see that over out mm-hmm. and then there's only one more bullet of bumrah to come down the back end if they get through that they they are in the game down at the back end so those are the things that captains weigh up with a boomer i mean it's a difficult it, task being a skipper not, but is it not fair to say that if you've put yourself in a position at 14 for 4 when the opposition's 14 for 4 down that even something extraordinary you you still ended up winning you'd rather have very rarely will you have the team 14 for 4 and lose the game but if the game goes like it did in many of the mumbai indians previous games where the sunrisers blazed away to 100 plus 120 plus in 8 9 overs there's no point saving his overs you'd much rather play your bumrah hand early yeah look 
there's it could have worked both ways. I mean, it worked the opposite way today, where they where they got away with it because Punjab got themselves into a great position. Okay, I think this will come down to captaincy at the end of it, mm. and mm. it's unique how Hardik Pandya is using his resources, including a Mohammad Nabi today, who has not bowled. Can he make his life any easier? Because some of these captaincy calls, we were all looking and wondering what's happening here. And I think that's been a theme all season. Yeah, I mean, you can understand that uh, barring Bumrah, everybody else is going for runs. So it's not, you know, making it easier. But he should have, he should have used Nabi at some stage because this is a bigger ground. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and what's and the point of playing Nabi? That was the whole right? point of playing yeah. Nabi yeah. that we but talked about. That is a bigger ground, and you have the two spinners. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel, you know, sometimes he finds himself in those positions where you question, you know, what's he doing? Yeah. Did he get into that space at 14 for four and almost think, yeah, I've got the game where I want it now. Now's a good time for me to bowl a couple of overs myself. I need to find some bowling form, yeah. get some soft overs out of the way from some of the other guys. And he did not expect Ashutosh and Shashank's onslaught, which honestly you should. Every time you play Punjab, yeah. you should be more worried about that. I, I think maybe there could be a case for that. Hmm. I think they decided to pull the trigger a lot quicker than you would, would have expected. expected. Yep. Uh, you know, there would have been a three or four over, generally in a T20 chase, three or four over period where you don't lose another wicket. So maybe they got just caught, caught on the hop with that. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's so funny when you talk about this because yeah, there's so many different ways. And I guess at the end of the day, um, while we can talk about the mistakes that were made yeah. or potentially made, they ended up winning by nine yeah. runs. Even even the time when he came into bat, I mean, if, if I was given an option, I would have sent Tim David at that stage. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because it's mm -hmm. an 18th over, who's who's going to make more damage? From the uh, first few, yeah. Hardik likes a couple of balls at yeah. least before I mean, he starts. Sorry, I'll just, just on their bowling one as well. Uh, the Nabi one's interesting, right? Yes. Because there was one significantly bigger side. Mm -hmm. We saw at the end there, Happy Prague getting caught on that boundary. Um, so Nabi to the two right-handers, he could have bowled to the two right-handers to that bigger side, and and you know it didn't have to be taken out of the equation. So if if they're looking at and they're worried about Nabi bowling to right-handers, which in my belief they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be concerned about that. Then they need to start looking at Luke Wood to come in as an aggressive wicket taker in the middle, and to also bowl one of those power plays because by all means it looks like he's close to fitness through the social media. Lens, but he's he's a guy who's a wicket taker in the middle, uh, who would have been able to do say the role of Kotsia, and you could have had one of yeah. his overs or I, used one up earlier. I can't help but think that the use of their middle order overseas all rounders is not making the most of the impact rule, which Rajasthan I think have shown the way of trying different things when it comes to batting and bowling first. If you're batting first and your top order is in form, you will more often than not not need Shepherd and Nabi. In which case, you can name even your bowler. You can Thanks name Madhwal right. in your 11 and see what you want. You want Nabi, take Nabi. You want Tushara, take Tushara. You want Luke Wood, yeah. take Luke Wood. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So they have to perhaps figure this out. This deep batting lineup perhaps mm. is not doing them the service they need with the ball. Uh, regardless, let's appreciate Ashutosh Sharma. What a story this is. Shashank, we've spoken of. It's been a wonderful season for him. And we'll touch upon his uh, counter-attack too. But... Ashutosh Sharma, I remember during the first game this season, Vasim, when we looked at the Punjab's first sheet, and you said they'll bring in Ashutosh Sharma as the impact sub. And they didn't. They went with different combinations, Prap Simran and Arshdeep, and you know, they've tried different things. And then we've seen Ashutosh Sharma today for the first time, they named him in the batting side. And what are we seeing here? This is an extraordinary hitter of the ball that the IPL did not get a glimpse of for so many years. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I, I was with Kings, this season uh, yes. in the trials and he came into the trials with a uh, good reputation and he surprised us and he was mm. he was in the mix that uh, this is the player we'll probably go for if Shah Rukh Khan we are going to release mm. uh, and we holded him for another day uh, and he did surprise uh, everyone uh, and and I'm happy that uh, you know the promise that is shown you know sometimes Sayed Mushtaq Ali obviously is not the same standard as IPL but he's turning those performances into IPL and, and playing this kind of knock in IPL is not easy and doing it again and again for three consecutive innings. So four. Four. He's four now. 30, three thirty now cracking 61 of twenty eight. Yeah. Yeah. What were his trials like, if you recall? 
Was it similar to what we've seen today? Just if you can just tell us the first impressions you saw of Ashutosh and said, yep, that's the guy we can keep if, you know, we get rid of Shah Rukh, like you said. Well, he was a good striker of spinners, for sure. Mm. Uh, I am surprised that how good he's hitting to the faster bowlers. I had my concerns that if he's going to face, because in the trials, you, you don't see somebody bowling at 140, 145. Mm. So I had my concern that if somebody's going to bowl 140, 145, he's batting at number 6, 7. Can he do that there? So I had my concerns, but I am pleasantly surprised to see hmm. him do that so well. With all your powers to predict things, you couldn't <laughs> predict him reverse sweeping <laughs> just with Umra. No, nobody does that. Uh, you nobody could see how much that. he enjoyed that. Yeah. And uh, is it fair to say that it seems pretty obvious from the view? Oh, okay, this guy's leg side heavy, leg side dominant. There's a way you can bowl to him. He's smarter than that. Even if Mumbai's bowling was poor, there's something about him that's made him effective 61 of 28 you don't only get that with bad bowling do you no you, you don't but you also a lot of the bowling has been on the stumps mm. and you know so everyone's kind of being slow to to realize how strong he is with the ball on the stumps and how well he actually hits the off pace ball that's on the stumps as well yeah you know we saw a lot of change ups tonight on length or back of a length and he dispatched them with ease so I think now you'll go, when it comes up against teams, they will look at going to that wider plan that you saw uh, Gerald Cortia change to uh, because that looks like it's probably going to be the next option to try and shut him down. Mm. Can, we, can we record that and turn it around, that piece where you don't always have to bowl at the stumps? We've got a running <laughs> debate with people on that. Can you record that, guys, for me and turn that around, please, that you can bowl wide at the stumps effectively. It's not the only option. But I, I go to another big picture on this. And I'm so happy for Shasha and, and Sharma. Um, last year we had Drew Jarrell, I think, with mm. one innings. You know, you bring a lot of West Indian batters in, the power hitters like the Russells, the Powells, the Shimron Hetmas, the Purans, and you bat them for years. We've talked about them, Pollard, yeah. occupying those finisher power roles mm. with Hardik, one of the very few Indian batters to occupy that. Now we're seeing with Ashutosh, with Shashank, uh, hopefully, Jarrell gets some form, for example. Mm. You've got local guys yep. with the potential, I'm not saying they're ready, with the potential yep. to be able to grow into those finishing ro mm. roles. Yep. And that's why I say India has so much talent, but it is about exposing, trusting those guys and exposing them to those roles. And the, the Caveat to that is then you can push one or two West Indians up the order and get them to bat <laughs> up the top as well. <laughs> I just wanted to get that in. But great to see those Shamas and Shashanks. And we haven't even talked about Sharu, who has not fulfilled his yes. potential. Samad seems just to yet. be having yes. a better season yes. than previous. And yeah. what's interesting is these are not necessarily your young, upcoming, very young players, you know, like Samad was when he first went there, Jurel or Badoni. But this is closer to players with maturity, which Tevatya has done for mm -hmm. Gujarat. Now we're seeing a couple here from Punjab. In, in this, do you see this happening more now, where actually slightly older domestic batters between, say, 25 and 30, take up this role effectively for IPL sides? I, I won't be surprised uh, because you see uh, this kind of performances you see in the domestic circuit. And mm -hmm. that's why these guys come into the trials and those guys get picked on the base price. But the problem I feel, Ronak, is, uh, you know, if these guys don't come and perform straight away, mm. yeah. uh, people don't back them. At the IPL. Uh, at the IPL, I'm saying. If, if they don't strike form in the first, second innings, mm. uh, they are benched. Mm -hmm. they, they feel that, oh, he's not ready. Uh, you know, he needs to do more. But if, if you perform like that in the first or second innings, then suddenly you are noticed. So, I think they need to be backed a little bit more. They need to be given yes. four or five yes. innings. Yes. And that's a problem sometimes I feel we do that uh, with the Indian talent. Okay. Very pertinent point. I don't see Ashutosh going out of that team. But as a quick final word on Punjab before we move to, uh, to Mumbai, they'd surely be thinking now, if only our top order can get some base, something going over here. They tried Russo today. They tried Sam Karan at the top show. Do you see that, uh, shall we call it, experiment or tactic carrying forward? Because they're just not able to fi find that. Livingston misfiring, Curran misfiring, no best or today. Which part of the experiment? Well, they've changed the top order yeah. and they've put Sam Curran up. Yeah, I, I mean, 
I guess it's temporary till Shikhar Dhawan is back. Yeah, I, I don't see that as a long-term thing. And Sam made a couple of good contributions in the middle earlier in the season. Yes, yes, he, he did. did. I the remember that the two guys at the top today got strangled down leg side. Yeah. You know, that's not going to happen every game. Mm. You're going to club one down the leg side and get a little feather on one down leg side. So, wouldn't but, read but too that's much the story, that. That, But that's the story of a lot of what the Kings have gone through if, okay. if they've done X okay. and if a lot of ifs with close yeah. finishes this yeah. season. Oh, that's it? fair. And they have to overcome that. Yeah. Um, I still think about that Shashank dismissal and think to myself, that was a controllable. Yeah. Yeah. That's, some things you can't control, maybe the little thing down the leg side, but oh goodness, you just just see that out. Okay, uh, I'm in all that exciting conversation with the game, <laughs> I forgot to take your questions. I'm deeply uh, sorry for that, so let's work on that. Uh, Sri Charan says, what a joke of a top order Punjab has. That's a bit harsh. <laughs> Uh, but we were touching upon that. JM wants to know what's the role of Nabi in the team. We've touched upon that. was a, perhaps a miscalculation on not using Nabi today. Shivang Madan, any chance for Ashutosh in the Indian team right now? <laughs> <laughs> for the emerging players team? But how has he also how has he gone ahead of Shashank already? You know? uh, look, yeah. ah, come on, guys. It's IPL. It's, <laughs> it's a brilliant time to celebrate Ashutosh. Yeah. But there's, let, let it organically grow, I guess, yeah. is the yeah. right yeah. thing to say. It could be tongue-in-cheek as well. A moral victory this for Punjab. Uh, okay, that's from one of you. Ashish Nehra, there's a profile called Ashish Nehra with Ashish Nehra's face <laughs> as well. Says Shashank is an SRH find. He had one or two games I remember of significance for Sunrisers, but they also let him go. So, would you claim well, Tom, that Tom Moody has spoken about him and yes, said he that he's a he's a very good player, um, and he said he's not surprised to see him perform. Uh, okay. Doing what he's done. Hanish uh, says he has very good game sense, does Ashutosh Sharma. Um, James says Bumrah doesn't deserve player of the match. It should have gone to Ashutosh. Well, that's what's happened. Bumrah has been player of the match. So you could have gone Surya Kumar Yadav from the first innings. You could have gone Bumrah once again. We haven't touched upon Bumrah. We just almost assume he's br his brilliance and move on. <laughs> you know, like he's awesome. He's almost godly in this attack. And mm. he's perhaps a single point of difference. Otherwise, I'm sure the numbers are not much different to RCB's bowling for Mumbai. Hmm. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, he's heads and shoulders above everybody else. And no surprise. I mean, you have to use those 24 balls as precisely as you can. Uh, yeah. So, it's, it's important where you use it. One over in the power play or two. If you use two, then you're stuck in the death like yeah. today. Yeah. He wears the purple cap right now, which is nice to see. Many times, bowlers like Bumrah, Rashid Khan, they don't get the quantity of wickets yeah. as well. But this just... Shows, I guess, the level of his form. I think that happened a couple of seasons. You might still have been involved with Mumbai, where people he was bowling beautifully, but he wasn't getting the wickets because guys would just see him out yes, because correct. they knew him as yeah. a threat. But just to put an analogy, I think the guy has a PhD in fast bowling. He really does. He, he can be a professor in this. And I, I'm hoping, and I'm speaking to the camera now, I'm hoping that India take this guy as a teacher, as a lecturer, to the other young bowlers, the Ash Deeps and all of those guys, the under 19 guys, and get him to teach them because every situation he comes in mm. across formats, he has an impact. He doesn't have the success every day, but he has an impact. He's an excellent yeah. communicator. He's articulate. He's eloquent. A good communi communicator, and he can teach. So while he's still playing, please oh. get him to teach. Uh, Memer Jod, I can take this one from Mitch. Am I gave 21 runs in extras, which includes... 14 wides and two no balls. Any hmm. thoughts on whether this is an issue? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an issue. Hmm. Absolutely. Uh, extras cost you. Um, and I think in games, in tighter games against, I don't want to say stronger opposition because that was, that was a good fight back hmm. um, from two informed players. But against the teams like Chennai, top, top, top the top teams, teams, KKR, how they're rolling. If they do that, they're going to be punished severely. Um, but when, when I do say that as well, um, barring the ones down leg side, which are your no-nos, right? You've missed your line by a long way. Mm. The other ones was, were the slight misses outside the wide line. So, so when you're watching at home, you've got to also, as bowling coaches or as bowlers, we're always encouraged to miss on the outside of the wide line um, as opposed to the inside so that if you miss your length, you don't end up in the swinging arc. So you're really trying to get outside and hope that they get the toe of the bat or you're right on the line and it's just inside. But if you look to bowl inside that wide line and you miss and you drag it towards the stumps, you're just in straight laneway to go downtown. 
Okay, uh, a couple of nice uh, questions here. I'll quickly take them before we wrap things up. Emmanuel Stephenson, and I think there was one more previously on Jitesh Sharma, on whether he is uh, losing out on the opportunities to seal his World Cup spot. Should he be considered he's just not looking the same batter? Yeah, I think he's struggling. Struggling this time around. Uh, and I think the permanent number or entry point for him uh, has obviously hurt him, mm. uh, which didn't happen last season, I, I remember. But this time around, he's, he's batted seven, he's batted six, he's not sure when he's coming down. Uh, and his own form uh, is a concern. So I think obviously mm. there are guys ahead of him. So what's the solution there? Where would, you, where would you like to see him? Do you want consistently? You just want him to go, right, you're locking at four? I think any time after an eight, nine overs, because as soon as the spinners come in, I think he needs to go. I, I don't think Liam, Liam Livingston should go at number four. Okay. I've been saying that for a long but in time. In fairness, he's getting a lot of game time looking at the top orders form, Jitesh. So he's yeah. coming early often. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I say yeah. that I say that very <laughs> seriously. It's not no, no, I, always I just gotta stick the needle in there. <laughs> no, I mean he, he hasn't got runs. Yeah. I, there's no I mean, doubt this is the kind it. of game which Ashutosh, the kind of innings Ashutosh and Shashank's played, you would almost think Jitesh with this age yeah. it would be lovely to see him play these mm. or even parts mm. of these. Yeah, but sometimes I feel when when you are sure that you are gonna bat number five, I'm 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 sure in T20 it doesn't happen. Yeah. It's a lot of situation based. But sometimes sure. when you know that you're going to go as soon as the spin is on, like what happened last season. Mm. He used to go nine after nine or ten overs mm. and he used to make, make an impact in those middle overs. Yeah. That's something which I feel is not happening. Uh, Vijay Inder is replying to Bish's point on Bumrah's and trying to teach those. And he's saying, I'm curious, Bish, if Bumrah's game situation, reading and visualization is actually something that can be taught. Yes, it can. And I'll tell you why it can be taught. Because these two gentlemen here have played and involved in coaching and they will know that there are certain times at practice sessions and within team meetings, a coach will go up to his bowling group or his batting group and talk game situations to create game awareness. Several situations, even at net practice, and say, if this happens, what would you do then? If that happens, what would you do? That, that, that's fair? And so mm. you're expediting that learning curve. So mm. that is something definitely that okay. can be taught. King UBYT says uh, the top order for Punjab Kings is not playing up to the mark and only the lower order seems to be winning matches. What can they do to fix this? Do they have to just wait for Dhawan to return? Or what, do, what can they further do now to fix the top order problems? Well, they've dropped Atharva Taide after playing one game. Yeah, That goes on to show their faith in him. Uh, that guy... Got a couple of 60s last season with batting at strike rate of 160. I don't think he did badly. Uh, and they gave him one game. I don't think he batted badly. I think he got 18. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they could have stuck with him. Mm. Uh, and Sam Curran would have come number three. Do you sense Prabh Simran has perhaps played his last innings if they have to make that change? Yeah, I mean, if, if Dhawan is ready, then probably. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That, that continuity with sure. the uncapped players probably will help. Uh, there's a quick point here. Someone very keen to say that small things can make the difference in winning and losing, had they sent Rabada ahead of Harshal? That was a heck of a first ball to hit for six. <laughs> no, you, your, your area of expertise is a lower order batter. Yeah, I, I believe he came, did he come in in the second to last over? Yeah, I mean, he was last man, basically. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, Rabada. So, Harshal faced four balls in that over from Kotsia. Um Yeah, you're right, because that over was three overs from the end, right? And that was two, two ends to the short side for the left-hander. Mm. So strategically, sometimes you need to think about that as well. If there's not a massive difference between two of your lower order batters, is it does a left hander get two in uh, two overs to the short, heading to the short side? Mm. Okay, quickly on Kotsir, I'll take one question before we move. Uh, Shar is saying I think Kotsir is building confidence match by match today. It was a good plan to take out Ashutosh in a seriously high pressure situation. Thoughts on Gerald Kotsir? Said, said it before the show. I think he's. He's really ramping up. He's really getting used to the IPL environment. It's, it's, a, it's a step up in terms of expectations from international cricket, um, from fans, from owners, from teams. And I think now we're starting to see the Gerald Courtsia that they bought at the auction, the potential that they saw in him. And the style of bowler he is, he uh, hits, the, hits the wicket hard. Two games in a row now, we've seen him Rahani be halfway through a pull shot, and today Livingston being a quarter of the way through a pull shot. 
just from back of a length. And that's what this team needs. They need that bounce bowler. And, and I think he's really settling into his rhythm. As, I mean, what do you have, three for 30 today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that could have arguably been, with how he took out the top order, it could have been up there with Boomer's man of the match. Mm. All right, fair enough. Uh, right, thank you so much for many of those questions. Comments are still pouring in. But I can just finish with one that there are job offers for you, Asim, <laughs> for sunrisers, in case you'd like to take it. Sunrise is doing quite well, yeah. <laughs> but, but I mean, they could certainly do with brilliant services of Asim Jafar. We'll miss him on the panel, so let's, let's not jump into those. Okay, time for a rapid-fire review. What a wonderful game. Very exciting. <laughs> There's a lot of comments on how relieved Mumbai Indians would be. That mm. You can understand mm. that with what was at stake. Uh, <laughs> but yes, they picked up the points, and now let's do a quick-fire review of the game. Uh, let's start with you, Mitch McClanagan. Could Hardik Pandey have rotated his bowlers or used his resources better? 20 seconds. Uh, six and one, half and dozen and the other. It's, uh, he could have been more aggressive uh, to try and really finish the game off early. But I understand with the form of the rest of his bowling group that he didn't pull the trigger earlier. So you know, either way, they got the result. All right. Bish, you've touched upon this, but I'd like you to go back to it. Shashank and Ashutosh Sharma, what stands out the most about the way these two bat? 20 seconds. Uh, their hitting power um, against different types of bowling. And India, just with big vision, need, as we've said before, that sort of potential from guys in those positions. And they're showing some smarts as well to do it consistently. Okay, Wasim Jafar. Punjab's problems with their shuffling in the top order. How crucial is that in their defeats and how can you fix it? I think the injury doesn't help uh, to Shikhar, uh, but a little bit of more continuity, a uh, little bit of faith in the uncapped players uh, and, and the form as well. Uh, I think the guys who are playing, even though uh, whatever number they are batting, I think they should be able to perform, knowing they are the, you know, few of them are international players. Hmm. All right. Ashutosh Sharma, six against Jaspreet Bumrah. Mitch, have you seen a better <laughs> shot played against Bumrah in recent memory? <laughs> it was a great shot, wasn't it? Uh, the best part about it was that I just love, oh, one, actually two parts. He read that it was going to be a Yorker, mm. so he picked his shot. Good game sense, good IQ. But secondly, the reaction after. Jeez, wasn't he chuffed? <laughs> he was so excited after. And those are the moments you like to see. Mm. All right. Bish, how would you rate Surya Kumar Yadav's innings in the first half today, uh, looking at the outcome of the match and the conditions? 20 seconds. He did, he did enough tonight. Um, at, there are times that he scores quicker and... Knowing about the guy, he probably go back and say, next game, I can do better, but I'm satisfied that I gave my team enough tonight to get them across the line. Mm. All right. And finally, Wasim, is this the best we've seen of Harshal Patel so far this season? I think so. I think he's getting there. Uh, that slow ball was, was a good surprise to see. And I hope he uses it uh, consistently and, and much better. Uh, but I think uh, he bowled better than before. All right, quick fire review of another thrilling game. Got to see the Punjab Kings. Unfortunately, it still doesn't give them the points that you thought, at least for poor Ashutosh Sharma and Shashank Singh, they so deserved. They find themselves on four points. That has to be tweaked. Mumbai will go to six. <laughs> there we are. That is just lightning quick. Right. Uh, Mumbai go to six. And now it gets crowded because from uh, Lucknow in fifth place to uh, Gujarat in eighth, it's locked on points and only net run rate, the differentiator. And Punjab and Bengaluru will have to really catch up here. They can ill afford any more points dropped. And even if they win everything, it seems unlikely that so many teams above them will also help their cause to make the top four. Rajasthan sit very pretty with 12 points. We're approaching the halfway point, remember. There's a huge game between Chennai and Lucknow tomorrow. Either Lucknow gets sucked into the seven-game, six-points club, or they can keep pace with the rest by beating the Super Kings at home. Fascinating. It's going to get, the next week or so is going to define a lot of things in that race to the playoffs. For now, it's time to enter the Impact Zone. Okay, we had some good outrageous picks oh, today. Kotsia to take three wickets. Mish McClanagan's very pleased with that. Uh, <laughs> Bumrah to finish with two and 35. Bish went too ambitious for that. Because he was not expensive even today, was just Preet Bumrah, just 21 conceits. He will not help you, Bumrah. Yeah. 
Jitesh Sharma could fire 40 didn't have. Did you mean Ashutosh Sharma, sir? <laughs> Wrong <laughs> Sharma. It's a very Punjab Kings thing to mix up the names. So whether it's not me, not me. Not you, sorry, not you. Okay, well done. But I appeal to the adjudicator who's sitting upstairs to give us him points for Sam Curran opening. I think it's a heck of a call. And it'll inspire other panelists to make yeah. such calls as well. Well, I did say that Jasby Bumra to take the new ball and, and bowl that Yorker to oh, Riley Rousseau. But so. Yeah, Yorker to Riley Rousseau. Very good. Yeah. I want the adjudicator to take that. He's harboring the hurt from losing two nights in a row, so he won't give you any credit. <laughs> okay, okay. Perfect. When you mean losing, I'm, I, you're talking about my dear football club and not the impact zone. You're talking Mr. cricket. Yes, Mr. Bishop. And now it is time to see how the panel fared on their picks. Mitchell McClanagan by the barest oh, of all margins. Come on. Giving oh, waiting to see that one. Oh, my God. I'll oh, never get to wow. say for anything because of this. Wow, 174.4 and 175.6. Eight does not get any better. Masim, you and me also were close, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite close, yeah? yeah like that's we, a very Russo is just, uh, Russo and Arshdi will cancel each other out with their minuses. And Ardik, 35. What did Ardik Pandit do get 35? All in know. economy. Ah, there we are. But how good was that? Sky and uh, Karan, good picks by Bish. Mm. Bumra, outstanding, yes, 120 solid, points. Solid picks. And Tim mm. David with a quick five finish to get Mitch over the line. Very, very fortunate. Mm. Very fortunate. Bish, Bish has learned oh, the Bish game wants as to well. review Oh, this. okay. okay. Wants to review. <laughs> Smart review, which will take a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. So let's wrap it here. <laughs> Bish, what an absolute pleasure it's been to have you back in the Cricket World Studios. I do hope we get to have that chance again. But you're on the road now, back to... More exciting things than our company. I was hoping to have a drop the pen moment, except for those fraction of a point that somebody <laughs> allotted to Mitch McClanagan. Now it's been an absolute joy. I uh, really enjoyed the analysis and talking cricket with my colleagues, only two colleagues. Mm. Um, and just as a closing, Mumbai need to get their bowling going a, little, a lot better. They need support for Boomer and one or two. Just, that's just a finishing remark. There's work to do, but. Yeah. Happy to have been here, getting into the game. Thank you so much, Mish. It's an absolute pleasure. You're a uh, colleague as well. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. And um, whether or not we get you back for the IPL for this season, if your schedule allows, but why don't you give me a bold, outrageous prediction of, from what you've seen, approaching the halfway point, the team, the top four. You want to see the table again? Yes, please. Let's see the table. Get Bish. Let's get Ian Bishop's top four predictions after match 32, 33. Bish. So at the end of the league stage, right? Um, looking at Rajasthan, I think that's uh, almost a no-brainer. I think Chennai will be up there as well. I can see um, Sunrisers mm. being up there, so that's three. And then I'm going to be torn between where Kolkata is now and sentimentality of seeing Mumbai somehow get on a Ooh, run and get up the table. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that, Bish. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. He's not going to be pleased I threw that on him. <laughs> 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 All right, but thank you so much. Wasim Jaffer and Mitch McClanagan, uh, you two will be reunited with Tom Moody tomorrow. <laughs> yes, yes. Bring keep, your A keep, keep up the winning form. I will. I will. Yeah. Tom can sit there. <laughs> Bring your A game is all I would say. Thank you very much. Wonderful game to celebrate 16 years of the IPL. An IPL thriller that the Punjab Kings have dished out for us. And the Mumbai Indians have managed to pick up some very important points. Join us for Build Up for Lucknow CSK tomorrow, just around the toss. On Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESP and Cricket Info Timeout. Do download the mobile app. Uh, you want to keep checking that points table, see how uh, the net run rate is shaping up. And of course, you get the fastest scores and so much more on the Cricket Info mobile app. We will see you tomorrow evening. Good night. Press up the city bird SUV.